we meet the party as they just crest over the hill. The waves in the distance, just beyond the southern shore of the spine, starts to lap at the rocky cliffs below. Sea salt sprays up into the air and the breeze carries the scent over toward the party as the winds start to carry uh, up toward the northern direction from whence they are entering. Pendulum, a town that was once a pretty unique trade hub. That because an old wizard's tower was refurbished into acting as a lighthouse for trade, for trader's reach. Over time, the Crusades would reach Pendulum and eradicate the people within and liberate the town for their own. Interestingly enough, Pendulum was never rebuilt. An old, dilapidated sea town stands at the edge of the spine, the mouth of Trader's Reach. Trader's Reach to the west. But we join the party as they overlook this view here. A flock of seagulls, a swath of birds uh, flapping in the distance toward and around this uh, I, the, the murmur, murder. What is the what is the what is the um, the oscillation of crows or birds that net can murder of crows. Murder of crows. Thank you. Murder of crows. It's a um, a murmuration sort of, of birds. Though. Murmuration. Oh, thank that's you. Amazing. That's the one. Um, it is sort of um, undulating and flying around as no one. Once again, uh, a theme we see a lot of the birds here do, where none seem to know who is leading as they sort of wrap around and. Uh, fly on the winds, whether spell or otherwise, uh, they do sort of gravitate towards this tower. A tower standing much like we would recognize, like a broken light bulb in the distance, uh, a spire piercing the sky, a, the southern sun eternally kisses the cliff sides here, just over your head, heading toward its rest, is Geolune as the afternoon starts to gather here on Pendulum. You have your crew with you, the 11 or so people who decided to come with you toward your adventure toward the Flaris Academy. You also have Brother Sykes, who has been here before. What do you do? Do you have any idea where this connection to the Flairus Academy might be, Brother Sykes? Mm, I, uh, yes, where are we? This is, we are close, yes? And she sort of just stops for a moment and senses the, the winds and where they, where you all are. Uh, well, I think this might be Pendulum. At least that's what the map says. Oh, good. Is there a, um, a spire, a lighthouse of sorts? Uh, yeah. Up on the cliff side there. Very well. That would be our best bet. If we are to, uh, find where it is. We should keep an eye out and see if there's any sort of, um... Well, any sort of problems waiting for us. Mm. Yes. Um, we should do some scouting and just see before we head anywhere to see if we can uh, well, get there. We don't want to lead anybody directly to the Flaris Academy, if that's... No, no, I'm sure we could ask around. Um, I believe uh, Miss uh, Gemma, a uh, small uh, halfling, uh, she is, uh, owns the tavern nearby. I'm sure she could help us get to uh, the... and uh, maybe find a place to stay if we need, or if anyone's hungry. And, um, the tavern is still up and all of this. The shithole's got a tavern. But shithole? 
Uh, it looks abandoned. I can't believe there's anyone even here. Oh. Oh my, this place is in ruins. Oh. Oh my. Does he oh. not know that? He doesn't know that. Well, I, I do know. I'm um, The tower is still intact. Well, How do we get to the academy from here? If, if there are no people, there are no boats, no? The tower would be our way in. The tower, mm. right. You mean that fucking thing? Not stopping or turning their head, Brother Sykes goes, I would assume. All right. We should have a look uh, around first, though. Very well. And See if there's any problems ready to jump out at us. Any ambushes or anything. Well, yeah, if there okay. is, they already know we're here. It don't look like there's any swarm. Unless there's any more of them sneaky, stealthy little fuckers. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, I could use my uh, magic to be prepared for that, maybe. If there's anything that might be hidden from us. It's probably a good idea. Okay. Um, I, I could... Make a start now, then. And so I reach into my pocket and I get a silvered-looking solution and I... Uh, <laughs> don't look. And I drop some eye drops in my eyes. There's a brief sizzling and... Uh, ah! <laughs> but then now my eyes, they glaze grey and I have uh, I have seen visibility for an hour. Make me an arcana check. Okay. What the fuck does that do? Oh, it's uh, can see him. <laughs> you were asleep last time you did this. Sorry. Right. It allows me to see the unseen just in case something is around that, uh, you know, might be hidden from us. You know that uh, bald man who uh, you put down? He was invisible, but thanks to this and thanks to the lantern we have, we were able to uh, find him before he found us. Oh, give us some then. Oh, um... This one in particular, I cannot just give to anybody. It um, it might make you go blind. Permanently. Oh, fuck it. Never mind. Um, if you want to carry a lantern, though, I believe Mr. Smith has the other thing, but we don't even know what we're looking for. What time is it? It would I probably be around four or five. That's yeah, where the light would be, maybe? Uh, or where Jialun would hang. In the uh, morning or in the afternoon? afternoon. The moonlight stretches and uh, elongates a lot of your shadows coming from the west. So uh, toward the east are a lot of your long shadows as they point toward the ocean. Um, or I'm sorry, toward, um, yeah, from this position towards the ocean. Uh, right, I've got a suggestion for us then. Oh. Split the party. Me and him will go and look in the tower itself. If there's anything here, it's probably going to be lurking in there, isn't it? And if all of us go trundling up, it's going to know all about us. We'll see it, get a jump on it if we need it, or at least figure out what it is and come back if there ain't nothing in there. Sykes, all yours, you know what mm. I mean? Figure mm. out how the fuck you do whatever mm. it is you're going to do that's going to get us to an academy. Uh, shoot the others a look, by the way. And for the record, even though Sykes has proved himself several times, ever since day one, I've never trusted him or believed in him that much, and I still don't, and I think the others would know it. Super shoot fair. the other yeah. three a look, but then... Well, uh... Then maybe, uh... Jet's the only one who can see properly, and then I've got the lanterns. Me and him will sneak up in ahead, scout it out. Okay. You can stay with the refugees for a minute, maybe take a look around here, have a little butcher's up, have a look, you know. All right, I am prepared for this. He's only got the magic eyes for an hour, he said. Am yeah. I with uh, Mr. Time? Yes? No. No. You stay here with him, mm. me and eyeballs. Are gonna go up there, and for once, eyeballs ain't you, Sykes. Mm, thank you. And who is eyeballs? 
Fucking Billy, I can see in the dark whatever he's doing. <sighs> okay. Yeah? Yeah. Very yeah, well. just... All right, Jack, when you're walking, right, on this sort yeah. of fucking... So, like, put your, you want to put your heel down and then your whole foot, like, flat, kind of. Okay. You can heel. make as much noise, all right? All right, so, okay. If it gets all crunchy up there, we might have to uh, change tact, all right? Okay. All right, Understood. Me. Don't make just any fucking noise. And send I'll... a mind message if you need us or whatever. Not that yeah, you will. I'm, sure I'm just fine. saying. Yeah, we'll be all right. Right. Okay. On, all right. Heel, foot. Heel, foot. Heel. Do you want to go take a look around? Yeah. Let's take a look around and, uh, I guess, uh, side by side coverage. Rest, uh, Brother Sykes, mm. you stay behind us. Mm. Follow up. Mm. Just like old days. Should I be tied up if that's the case then? No. We will. I'll Should take the left, you take the right, Varsha. Yep. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay. There is nothing. Nothing? This is... You won't. Making what? a joke is... I don't hear anything except for the birds. You weren't kidding when you no, said I'm... this is about Luna. No. Um... Sorry, GM, does it look like it's burned? Like the town is in dis... Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, the town looks like it. There has been fires. The town looks like oh, almost yeah. as if the place has been toppled. Uh, buildings have been dragged off of the cliff so they would topple into uh, the the sound of the, the, the shore itself. It even looks like this wharf-looking um, building to the right looks like that has been moved yeah, okay. um, into the water, whether or not somehow a lot of strength and a lot of people would have to do that or something much bigger. Um, amazing that it is still standing in the way that it is. Um, but there are, looks like a lot of the wood from a lot of these buildings have been charred. Yeah, it uh, looks like fire. Some of the buildings are um, moved, though, as if by magic. Mm. Uh, not um, like they're still moved by magic. I, I would say because they're not, you know, it's not like they're broken into pieces and then scattered all over the place, like by strong mm. winds or anything like that. It's like the building's been lifted up and put into the water. Oh, it was strong winds. Strong enough to pick up something without tearing it apart first. Well, the spell wind does work in various ways. It could be, but I'm not sure. I Did you have friends here? Well, I did. I have friends in a lot of my travels, and toward Cross Creek would be probably the most people who would recognize me, and also at the Flaris Academy, they will also understand. But I have a, a sinking feeling about this place. Yeah, me too. What do you know of it? Only what you told me. Go ahead and make mm. me history checks, both of you. Advantage. Sure. Actually, Smith would have advantage. I think I would have, not that I need to 
you're... in part disadvantage all the time, but I think okay. I would have, right? Because I spent the whole time with Sworn, so I would only have what info they gave me. So are you so... saying you would have disadvantage? Or you yeah, you I think so. Up to you. Yeah, because unless the, they are telling this the truth, is, in which case... This is pertaining to what you know, whether or not it is, and no matter what... I will what... give myself disadvantage. Okay. Because I don't think well, I would know I mean, the truth about the this truth case The truth you may not know, but what you okay. do know is... Whether or not you um, give me advantage, history, right? Yeah, give me advantage because you both are you both you've learned through. All right, so with a twenty from Smith for history, as well as a um, okay. a ten from Barsha, uh, Smith. This is the second to last liberated town of Everville in from of the Crusades. Um, Smith. Oh, have you been here before? I need to think about the timing for everything. Mm -hmm. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. I don't think can. so. Based on what I know about Smith's reaction in Nine News and looking at the map, they would have had to go to Pendulum after Nine News. It's fair. That is a fair assumption. We're rolling for it. Folks. And we're rolling for, those for it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we're rolling for it. Nine years no. is just north of Pendulum. Okay. You did not, not, uh, have not been here before. Correct. But you do know that it was liberated. I think I heard something about this place being liberated. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure, though. And there should still be people. There should still be a presence of uh, yeah. the swarm, right? Maybe. Unless they left it as some sort of warning. Oh. Yes. Then maybe we should make our way toward the tower. Okay. I still want to have a look around. Yes, yes, yes. Fine. As he's don't just trust that we're... Waves his hands, agreeing. Don't trust that we're alone here. Grudgingly. Sure. Um, yes, I will. Um, you mind if I just rest for a moment? I sort of feel around for a stone around waist height and lean up against it. Uh, just no, wait with the all. others. Yeah. Yes, yes, very well. Um, some of the others start to then nod and... Yeah, we'll stay. And a lot of them are sort of staring over at this, at the town. A lot of them are bewildered as they look towards the these waves splashing in, and also some are really puzzled at this this little tower and how and why it's still standing. I'm gonna look for any evidence of any recent activity through the area. Okay. Looking for. I guess I'm looking for footprints. I'm looking for um, any, you know, bits of decomposing food, um, anything along those lines. Um, speaking of lines, do you have a do you have a map, Smith? Uh, we have the map that we've been yeah, sharing. Yeah. yeah. Can can you can you just stop for a second and pull it out? Yeah. And I look around, is anybody near us? Or is it just the two of us? I think we did a good job of leaving everyone behind, right? Yeah, if you moved on, Brother you Sykes? totally can. Okay. Yep, you moved on and then Brother Sykes is with the group sort of okay. in the area, meandering sort of on the outskirts of the town, not necessarily like on the threshold, not necessarily wandering in, maybe one or two wander in to take a look, but no one's really going into um, the, the city limits or the pendulum limits. Um, a lot of them are just sort of mingling around, eating, sitting, and just resting for a moment, sort of at the road. Um, okay. But you can be anywhere. You can be, you can move on away from them and looking at the, looking at the, uh, this map, it's totally up to you, whether or not you want to be near them. But no one's going to actively follow you. Okay. Um, I pull... I pull the uh, tinderbox out of my pack and I'm just gonna take, um, 
going to take the sharp end of uh, an arrow here, and I'm going to ask Smith to mark uh, on the map. Can you mark uh, the sites that you know of? Okay. Well, nine U's. Yeah. Never fail. Yeah. Potentially dead grove. Right. Those are the only ones that I know of. Right. And if Blue Falls is one, we're not sure. Do we know where, exactly where? I need you to be specific. Me? As specific as you can be. I'm talking to Smith. I'm okay. so sorry. You're good. Where what? Where these sites are. You're saying nine news, but I need to see on this map. Well, we were outside the, the actual town proper. We were in the forest. I That's wouldn't... what I thought. So if I were to say, draw a line from the sites on the map, it potentially would go like this. How do I do this? How do I draw on the map? Brush How do I draw? Tool. Not a uh, brush tool, oh. and then draw, or then go to freehand. Here, freehand. Okay. Here, or like the this. Polygon line, if you want to draw a straight line. Is that correct? Potentially. Or potentially, it's this. Correct. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's what I get for trying to move. You get it. I can't get undo it. it either, so we have to just. I deal. will Sorry. figure it out. No, you're good. Thank you. Okay. Or potentially it's like this. For those listening, I draw a line um, just outside from Evervale, outside Dead Grove, Nine News, and it would pass over Pendulum. And the second line I draw is more to the right on the map, but still goes through Evervale, Dead Grove, Nine News, and then would hit the unknown building on the map that does not have a name for me underneath Pendulum. Mm -hmm. so either this potentially could be a site or they thought it was a site and didn't find it you very well could be right Varsha I'm not sure of the exact or, locations of any of these sites these are just guesses or it's still a site and they moved it how would they move it what if what if the academy is the site and it's now in this pocket bubble that Sykes was telling us about, or whatever they did to move it. What if they took it with them? Whatever it is. You mean the Academy itself? They took yeah. the site? Y yeah. Or what if the site is the Academy? Do we even know what these things are? No. We just know that they're somehow tied to the land and potentially the spell wind. And a lot of things, well, they're just guesses. Oh, my God. We have to do more research, ultimately. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Look, I mean, yes. Follow the line further up beyond Evervale, Smith. You mean... To the storm. Yeah. Yeah. They could all be tied together. Well, if we find the Academy, we'll have to see if there's anybody that actually knows anything about this. Yeah, I think we need to be careful. Definitely. I mean, obviously, definitely, and obviously we're already pretty careful, but where did we picked up Brother Sykes outside of Gullfish? Where was he going? He was a prisoner, supposedly. Yeah, but where was he going when they picked him up? Because they picked him up down south. He said he was going to Dead Grove, didn't he? I don't remember. 
I'm pretty sure he said he was going to one of the sites. I just think he might know more than he's telling us. Which, you know, to be fair, I wouldn't tell us either. I just think there's way more to these sites than... than we initially thought. I still think the God King is using them. I just don't know how. There's a lot of unanswered questions. Things that we can really only hypothesize on. Do you think we could use them? How? Well, that is the question. When we were in Site 6, we lost ourselves. Yeah. And an entity that we didn't really understand was able to control us, at least for a time. If this exists at every site... What if it's just really powerful spellkin? Could be anything. We're just grasping at straws right now. Yeah. I definitely think that these places are all tied together, though. Yeah, okay. And I pick up the map, roll it up, and hand it back to him. We should hurry. I don't like the idea of leaving them in the tower. For too long, anyway. Yeah. I like the idea of ambushes less. Toward the tower. Hi. You are being followed by Jet, whose eyes are silvered and, and chromed over with a liquid. They are tearing and blinking. Pools of looks like mercury is gathering in his tear ducts and it's sort of dripping down his uh, cheekbones, and every once in a while, Jet wipes it away, but still reassures you that he can see into a different plane. Heal. Step. Heal. Step. Yeah, yeah toes first. Oh, okay. And you oh. don't want to, don't walk on the stones. Walk on the roots. Walk on the roots, okay. Toe. Heal. Step to. I think I'm getting it. A uh, heel. Right, yeah, I mean, I would have heard you coming from a mile away because you keep fucking talking about what you're doing. Sorry. Right, you stay like 15, like 30 feet back. Okay. Um, a technique that I learned a long time ago. You know, that way, if anything happens to me, you'll see it happening. You know, and you won't be caught in it if it's like, you know, maybe 45 feet back, like between here and where that sort of broken tree is. Okay. And I'll go first. Wait, uh, how close are we to the base of the tower right make me, now? Make me one more. As you go to look toward how close you are, you open your eyes or you look up from where you're stepping. Um, make me another arcana. Another arcana check? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, 21. You look up to see that you are 200 feet from it. Okay. You're getting closer. There's a little bit of a switchback. Ooh, as I punch my camera. There's a little bit of a switchback that goes upward. Um, little jaggedy rocks. Uh, looks like sand or at least wind has blown through and uh, blown a bunch of sand of what looked to be once a footpath. Um, Okay. But that's not all you see. You also, as you look up, you start to then see a spell wind blow through. And as it does, you start to see shapes uh, around various heights. 
looks like. Mr. Tai, wait. These shapes are moving. Whoa. As you sort of blink, and you sort of like, like letting your eyes moving? adjust in the darkness. You sort of something caught your eye, right? Or maybe even like looking at a magic eye, Boy. where you um, start to then look Up at this jumbled uh, picture, and then for a second you see something and then you focus and you blink a couple of more times and then your eyes adjust to what you are trying to look at and finally perceive what it is. And as you do, that weird magic eye, um, I hope you know what I'm talking about, those optical illusions that look like a texture and then you then you like cross your eyes and stuff and then you can see something in it. Um, as you sort of blink and let your perspective shift and you sort of like find that comfortable uh, vision, uh, you then see that the spell wind stays for while you are looking in this moment, while you are looking with this, these lenses on, and you also see that there are people, these shapes of people being kissed by the spell wind as the spell wind sort of blows through. But these people aren't necessarily doing anything strange. They're living their lives. Where exactly in the tower? There is none near the tower but as you started to like look and look back toward the town you start to notice down towards the bluff these figures going about their life so they are between buildings or where are they exactly in relation to the town all over they look like okay. townsfolk as you start to blink and think about what's happening it looks like this town is getting on their normal day but you don't see them, uh, or at least Ty doesn't, but you see them. You don't see the architecture being filled, right? As if it was like, I can now see this town back in time. You don't see that. You still see um, these rutted old buildings that have been dilapidated and, and pushed over and, and, and burned and things. But there seems to also be some sort of imprint of daily life. In, being projected through the spell wind, which you can see because of okay. your invisibility. Um, I, uh, please come over here. Are you able to see what I am seeing now? It looks like almost shades, shadows of people moving in and out of the place. Where? Between, between the ruins, it's almost as if... Down there? Down there, around us, this small road? No, um, can't see nothing. Okay. All right. It must be the the effects of the drops. I think maybe perhaps... Uh, Is it the fucking assassins again? I don't know. There are too many. It's like a whole village. It's similar to how those spiders moved through the plains. I imagine, I think, if I could, if there was a spider around, I could see it the same way. Um, but our goal is the tower, yes? And I look back at the tower. Right, yeah, but uh, if there's a bunch of assassins down there, we've got to be careful. If they were assassins, one just walked through you. I don't think oh. they can perceive us either. When we was on that boat, you remember? Yes. And they, uh... Spell storm thing happened. I had a weird uh, dream just before I threw that knife. Okay. I thought the knife was fucking with me, but I, uh, it was a kid, right? Little kid. Piercings down his ears, gold robes with like fur in it and that. These people dress like that. I cannot see what they are wearing exactly it's almost like shades shadows cut in the wind um like your cigarette smoke it's almost as if just before the smoke turns into the air around it it's one second it's there one second it's not um maybe with the lantern it might have more of a of an idea what's going on because then everybody could see what i can see and make sure I'm not just going crazy. But 
before we split up any further, if I go into the tower, here, um, I hand over to him a, a test tube. It's large, it's blue in coloration, um, with bubbles that seem to go up in a double helix towards the top. And as they go to the top, they just disappear and return to the bottom and continue. And I pass it to him and uh, I say, uh, well, if I'm going to climb that tower, this will be one way to do it. Um, and I pull out a similar one. And I say, with this, we could fly to the top and see what's going on. And I pocket it away. Or we can go back and you can just use it whenever he wants. Uh. Yeah, I don't know about flying. Okay. You know, surrounded by fucking ghosts. I hate ghosts. Right. But that's what that, uh... And I point to the ton, the not the tonfa, the uh, stick he has. That's what that is for, the, <laughs> to to smack a ghost. <laughs> um, but uh, I suppose we could get the others, bring the lantern and uh, drop it in one of these locations and see what's going on. Yeah, all right. Um. However, yeah, I did. I did not see any shapes or figures at the tower itself. Oh, there's no ghosts up there. Not that I can perceive, no. All right, you go get them then. I'll meet you up there, I suppose. Probably be the best way we can do it. But there might be. Well, you said you can't see any, though. Maybe it's more powerful than the ones around here. All right, yeah, probably, probably best we stick together then in case. You know, we need backup. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Let's just go I'll get them then. Okay. Together. Okay. S okay. So we walk back down the hill towards the uh, party. Sure. Um, after you are done with your conversation and you roll up the map, Varsha, coming down from behind, you hear a crunching of sand as it starts to kick over leather boots. You turn around and you see both Ty and Jet. Yet still tell, wiping man. away these chromatic tears. Toes and heels. Anything? Um, yes. <laughs> Even around us now. Um, I motion for them to stop and I look around and mm -hmm. I look for a place that looks to, to have or had had uh, more of this spectral foot traffic. Maybe a ruin. A larger one that maybe has, you know, like some significance in this area that we're in, in this uh, old town. And sure. I... Mm -hmm. And you? Sorry. I ask for the lantern, take it and sure. place it on the threshold of this building. If possible. Sure. As you do, you... I assume light the lantern. Ah, uh, yes. Um, sure, as you do, the lantern sparks to life, and then this flame starts to then dance, flicker as if there is like water caught in the wick as it pops, as pressure, as it crackles, uh, and it's, then the flame changes white. And as it does, uh, you start to see these spectral images walk through and by you. So, this is what I can see. This is what you can see. And everybody else can also now see this, except it's in the range of the lantern. Um, about so 60 feet. About 60 feet of the lantern, you can sort of see, of course it's stronger as people are closer, but up to 60 feet away, you just see townspeople getting on with their day. It seems like um, some, uh, a group of these, uh, of these spectral images are starting to, uh, as if they were exhausted from a day of work, start to then make their way as a group, and you start to see them talk to each other. You can't hear anything, they... though, as they start to make their way through the town uh, and through an old foundation or an old rutted foundation, and then they sit down at a table that doesn't exist, and they sort of raise their hand, and as if they're, like, trying to order something. What? But, what? What is this? Is this... Are they... Is this an echo? Do they not realize echo they're of the dead? Past or 
either this or it could be it could um, be someplace else I think that what I can see and what this lantern bestows is more spatial than temporal um so Smith is right it's somewhere else that's still here somehow yes question mark is this the pocket I I don't know I don't know but there are so many people in this place but they don't see us I don't believe so I don't believe so on further inspection, a, as you sort uh, of interact or try to, or at least try to wave down one or two of these uh, spirits, or for lack of a better term, these wind images, these spell images, um, they don't seem to interact back or react to anything that you do. Oh, hold on. Pick up, pick, pick it up. Sorry. I feel like uh, Sorry, what? I'm a step behind here. Yeah, these ghosts or what? Probably not. What is it then? Um, we're trying to figure that out. Can you put that lantern somewhere where we've been? And see what if you- it's... Just see if our image is walking around somewhere. I'm just trying to figure out if these are... If this is another area or if the spell wind is just showing us what has happened before. I'm just trying to narrow down what's actually what we're seeing. Okay. <laughs> I mean, how long ago was this place liberated? That's fair. So even if the spell wind was potentially recreating our steps, it wouldn't be for another. How many? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Um. But, but they're not ghosts, right, Jet? I, I am no priest. <laughs> I am no a necromancer. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> we didn't find any footprints or any evidence of anyone here recently, correct, GM? Or should we make some rolls for that? Make me a survival. Or an investigation. Make me an investigation. I assist you? Or do you want me to make a separate roll? You can assist. Okay. So you just so roll I'll again. just roll it again. Yeah. Alright, so 18. 18. Can... Flash of genius inspire that or no? I think it's only saves. Okay. But I could be wrong. Uh, So technically we were not together at that time. Right? You're talking about when we did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flash of genius. It's true. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Yeah. An ability check or saving throw. So no. Okay. And your question was if you find anything of recent activity in the area? Yeah. Yeah. Like decomposing 18. food or, or um, there or is no decomposing food. Um, or bodies, you, there are no bodies. I did um, see skeletons though, right? In the ship and stuff, like the rowboats on the image, or are those not real? If they're in the image, then hell yeah, but yep. I didn't see them. Okay, um, they're right in that front boat, they scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Okay, hold on, because now I want to see it. They're on um, the beach. Yeah. That's the wrong button. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. Okay, I never didn't even notice that. Look at that. Josh's art is so cool. It's things I don't even pick up on. That's dope. All right. Um, I, yeah, so there are. You do see various skeletons um, when you were in, first introduced into uh, the area and the shore, of course, they had some. Uh, there were various piles and I think also mass graves, um, which you would assume is potentially the people who did live here. 
Um, as far as inside the town proper of where you are looking for any sort of rotting uh, or some sort of uh, past activity from uh, from any sort of lack of a better term, living or adventurers or anything, you do not see anything. There is no um, there are, I'm sorry, there are footprints that lead and scatter throughout uh, erratically. Some uh, looks like um, there once, there, there has been a set of footprints that has walked through here since the last time it rained here um, because the ground was wet when they were imprinted, meaning you were able to see uh, a more detail in the footprint as it passes through. Um, it, since then, uh, has been dusted over by some loose sand. You would assume some sort of sea breeze has brought that in. Uh, and you would assume at least how the footprints sort of go from building to building, and then they sort of lead out of town. You would assume that it is probably some sort of um, salvage. Someone is coming in to try to uh, ransack or try to loot what is left of, uh, of Pendulum. Which isn't far off of any sort of possibility, considering uh, how precious things could have just been left here. Uh, if anyone is to know that this abandoned town that the Sworn and the Crusades have just f forgotten about. So you see, to answer your question in, in, with less words, you see that there has been activity of raiders and um, like um, looters through the area. Mm. But not much more than that, that you can tell. A few signs of raiders and looters, but um, we should be all right to start investigating the, the tower further, see if we can... I don't know. Go to this other place or figure out if Brother Sykes is full of shit. DM. I would like to try to go to the other place right now. You want to try to go into the yes. other, into this yep. other realm thing? Okay. Uh -huh. Tell me how. Um,. I want to tell the Spellwind to take me there, or to, to, to just reveal it to me, I guess. No, to take me there. Okay, make me an arcana check. This is so insane, by the way. I know campaign. this to be true. It's gonna be great. I will use my inspiration to okay. give myself advantage. Okay. 13. 13. I was expecting double ones. Me too. Yeah, that would have been good. terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> and then Varsh is gone for the rest of the campaign. He's Bye. just deleted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Spellwind so what does this you look to the like? other place. Yes, the other yeah. place is uh -huh. death, Varsha. Mm -hmm. I want to go there. Where? Mm -hmm. um, what does this look like to those of us who I are watching? I want to go where the dead things go. <laughs> where, where the people aren't. Mm -hmm. um, what does it look like? Mm -hmm. Well, As you sort I'm of assuming it ask. does not succeed, right? Oh, I'm just asking in my no, mind. I wouldn't do it in front of them. Okay. So I guess nothing happens to okay. them. So yeah, I guess you sort of look around for a moment. You hear people talking. They're discussing. The, the raiders nearby. Mm -hmm. And just everything just sort of goes quiet for a second as you just sort of hyper-focus on this mm -hmm. thought. Yes. And then whoa, the sound comes back to its normal volume. Everyone is still talking, and you're still in the same place. That I have not actually been able to see the things where, um, up on the tower, um, when we were ha halfway up, I looked down and I saw what we see here, but towards the tower, I didn't see anything. There was nothing. No motion at all. You so... assume at this point, Varsha, that it did not work. Okay. All right. Well, let's take Brother Sykes to the tower and see if anything jogs his memory. Okay. I'm gonna start heading on back to the um, group of, uh, I don't know what to call them now, 
refugees or awesome what? people. Yeah. Um, extras. NPC for extras. The featured extras. Um, specifically to Brother Sykes. Yeah. I walk over and I say, hmm? You caught your breath. Yes, yes, I'm. You need me for anything? Are we going to the tower? Maybe. Mm. We've um, we started seeing some things. Oh? Mm hmm. What kind of you things? Know anything about that? Well, I don't know what the things they are you were speaking. Of what? Sort of like shades in the spell wind. Shades in the spell wind. Um, what kind of, like, shadows in the spill wind? What do you mean by shades in the spill wind? It looks like people going about their business, but in the spell wind. They're sitting at tables that aren't even there. You could see in the spill wind. With our device, we can, yes. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, you the, seem excited. Yes, the... What else can you see? Is there anything else you see on the breeze? No. Hmm. Well, the only thing I could assume is... And you said this place is abandoned. Is there... Um, some of them were telling me that it's... Like... A shithole is what they said. Some of them? You mean the, the others here? Yes, yes, yes. They were mm -hmm. describing. Over in this direction, it sort of points sort of toward the um, uh, the wharf or that that, um, that wharf-looking building, but it's, there's clearly been dragged off the cliff into the water. Um, that this looks like it has been, there's a building over here in the water, and it's uh, some, there's also said that it has been burned. There's uh, uh, many... Uh, um, the place has been attacked. Do you yes? know how to get to the Flagris Academy? Yes, we would have to go to the tower. If it's still working and viable, that's how I would, and that's how we would go. Students would go and to the tower. Yeah, What's and then the tower? There is a test at the top. And from there, we are able to, uh, if we can decipher the runes, we could make our way and through teleportation into the new realm of Flaris. But you said they don't like visitors or they might not like us if we were to just suddenly arrive. Is there a way to communicate and ask them if we're invited before we just show up? Or are we just, is a plan to just show up? It is a great question. Um, it would be a good idea to maybe send some sort of message. Um, but the thing being, uh, Flaris has been uh, hidden for quite some time. If none of the marked of the sworn can uh, reach out to them, I'm not sure if, no offense, if any of us will be able to um, speaking of hidden, the idea comes to me now. Mm. This place, Pendulum, it was uh, liberated, yes? Yeah, I assume. Well, what if the shades that we're seeing here are refugees? What if they are hiding somewhere else that is here but not here? Maybe there's a way to see them. Like a planar shift or something? Maybe. Um... Well, would we be able to see that? It's like another realm, technically, that... That's... I, I don't know much about this particular... Uh, craft. But this is how we found where this um, assassin was. It's not very different what we are seeing here and what that man was using on the mountain, I feel. So um, they 
might potentially be somewhere else that's occupying the same dim- dimensional space. DM. Three dimensional mm-hmm. space. Yes. DM, how much would Jet know about the, not the astral plane, what's this other plane that's, in, you know, the, the twinned plane that, how much would I know about? Between that this potential plane of where these um, people are? The what escapes me right now, but the ethereal, um, plane. the ethereal plane, yes. Okay. How much would Jet know about the ethereal plane? How much do you think Jet knows? I don't think much, but I mean, if you if you give me reason to mm, potentially, but I don't know if Jet Jet has that ethereal plane type mm, speaking magic. Unless you do, um, I through the narrative and through um, Jet's background, I'm not sure. The, it'd only be an inkling. I mean, okay. I suppose a, a check or something would probably suffice. But, yeah, uh, let's do it. The spiders used it, and so did this right, other. Right, that's pet. true. Yeah, you do have some background in it. But prior to, um, let's make the check, but uh, prior okay. to, I think, this adventure, I don't think you know much. No. But that's true. You do have sort of, like, Jet now has context to this because of the face spiders. Our the experiences. The experiences, exactly. And, of course, that... Um, seeing some of the spirits in Blue Falls as they would follow around uh, Father Dusane. Right. Yeah. Okay. Give me so an arcana. I don't know anything. <laughs> it is a five. Good thing it wasn't you trying to cast anything, but that was a no. that is a natural one. Um, as you try to think on these things, you do remember face spider you do remember seeing these uh, spirits around uh, and gathering around father dusain and sort of watching him uh, as he sort of um uh, investigated um cell ray's home but as far as that it's really hard to sort of draw any lines it doesn't seem like it's the same these people aren't really attracted to anything they're not like because of course father or i uh, dusain um, they were sort of interested in Dusain, um, and that was probably, you would gather, for a reason. Here, these people don't seem interested. I see. They just are getting on with their lives. I, I don't know, Miss Fasha. And I have no idea. All I do know is that... The tower, I guess. Yes, all I know is that whatever we're seeing around here, there is none of that in the tower. I start walking. Okay. Yeah, I follow him as well. I follow too. To heal... We're moving, moving, everyone! To heal... To heal... You don't have to be quiet. I'm just practicing. As you also want to don't don't step on them rocks. Step on them type of rocks. Okay. Come from patches of earth, if you can see them. Roots are Got good. It. Okay. Yeah, don't jump to them. Just walk slowly. Uh, all right. Swiftly. as you begin to walk toward the tower. Water laps up uh, toward the shallow parts of this, of this shoreside. The beach here, still wet with salt water. Uh, You step over a lot of sunken rowboats and you do see a couple of other uh, sepulchral sites of these uh, skeletal figures, you are not interrupted by any of the spirits or any of these this projections that sort of walk through the area as you, I would assume, carrying the lantern up toward um, this tower. This tower is open. There is a, looks like a weather-beaten door swinging on the breeze of, the breeze of Pendulum swaying back and forth, going 
I guess, like as if it was off its hinges, swinging inward and outward. Inward and outward as the wind sort of passed through the area. You approach, um, let me know if you aren't, but as you approach, you see that the ground floor opens up the base, opens up to about 30 feet by 30 feet. There seems to be some uh, nooks and crannies of some storage. Um, as you look through the area, the crates and boxes that once stored things are now empty. There are stairs in the center of this room that head upward 10 feet wide and head upward to a new flight just above. You said that there was a test at the top, so I suppose we should keep going. Or we can investigate each space on our way up. Well, if we know the test waits at the top. We could still split up, I suppose. Mr. Ty and I could get her from outside, and then you could start from down here, and then we could meet halfway. Or we could stick together. Let's stay together. If this okay. place is our way to the Flayers Academy. I think we should all be together just in case. Okay. I'll lead the way. I'm gonna start making my way up the stairs and start heading towards the top. If, uh, unless there's any broken stairs or anything that looks like some kind of crazy hazard. Sure, I am going to put us here and hopefully everything stays put. Nothing wacky happens on the map. Okay, good. I'll let uh, Jet and Ty go next because I've got the lantern thingy. Okay. And Jet has the eyes, so I'll just uh, hold up the ray. Not sure if this is going to show up on the cam. Perfect. What a good spot. Um, I love how you just aged yourself for Brother Sykes' portrait. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, just me. Yeah. I did. Um, that's exactly what I was thinking. How, how am I going to do this? So you start to creak your way up the stairs, these actually these stone stairs that go up into a uh, wooded uh, first story. Up here, it looks like it's some sort of entryway or at least a rest stop for those trying to travel up the stairs. There is also uh, stairs that continue going upward from here. Uh, in this room, looks like frames of pictures reside. Glass on the floor scattered, but the pictures we recognize are missing. This long shot. Do we recognize any of the spectral people in these photographs? These photographs uh, do not hold any more pictures. They are just the frames now ah, that okay. are just sort of unhinged on this uh, in this space. I need to try to figure this out. Um, does this change it? Does this make it easier? Hey, look at that. Okay. The group of refugees and the, uh, the ex-prisoners that you have, the, the group of NPCs, uh, your tag-alongers are all 
uh, are all waiting downstairs patiently. Yeah, resting. Okay. Not climbing the tower with 30 people behind us. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I look around. Is there anything out of the ordinary at all? No. Looks like a ransacked lighthouse. Or at least it looks like a ransacked, once built wizard's tower, now lighthouse. Then before we proceed any higher, Mm -hmm. I would like to pull out my um, conical flask Mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, start to see if I can maybe run my finger around the rim of it and see if anything resonates that's magical, maybe perhaps. Make me an arcana check. Okay. Okay, how can I check? 19. Yes. Roll window scroll up. Of course it is, thank you. Um, yes. There it is. There is as you use and rub the the uh, this conical flask and you start to rub the crystal around it to hear and to have it reverberate and ripple back to you this echolocation of where magic could be, but also giving you the gift of si- seeing where it could be. You are now hearing. It sounds like a rhythmic clicking. Like a clock? Like a clock. Are we all hearing this? Just just jet. Just jet, okay. But it's sort of reverberating, reverberating back to you through this high-pitched thrum of your crystal. As if the crystal was in that continuous note, but there is an, in, an interrupting beat which is with him, like a clock. There is certainly something magical about this place. Do I get a visual inclination of where it's coming from or no? Or it's just audible? Audible for, what did you roll? You rolled a, a 19. 19. Yeah, it's coming from um, one of the pictures, one of the picture frames. Um, There's no picture, but at least it looks like it's reverberating, or at least you could hear it, as if, like, you can locate it using, of course, your ears and your um, your senses, that it seems like it's coming from the center of your eastern wall. I don't know for what purpose, but it seems as if this picture frame is magical. What's it? Magical how? Clockwork? I, I don't oh. understand. I just... <sighs> I, I pocket away the vial. It's almost... Uh, the, the sound... This has never happened before when using this. Um, hey, are you okay? I, I'm fine. But... It's just a tick. A talk. Tick. Talk. Perfectly rhythmical, coming from that area over there. Um, I can. Are you sure it's coming from the frame? I look to Varsha. Uh, uh, say suddenly. Yes. As you look toward Varsha, it sort of dulls down a bit. But as your ear starts to then turn back to look at it, you pick it up again. It's definitely coming from that area. <laughs> definitely coming from there. This empty picture frame. Um. This uh, ma- I go on. I was just gonna cast detect magic as well. Okay. See if I can see what you see. What, what does yours do? Here, rather. What does yours do? I don't like using it because I learned it from the sworn, but mm-hmm. it's um, so you pluck webs, right? 
Yeah, uh, but not sworn magic. I feel like is different for her. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more like uh, like this green mist. I think that um, mm -hmm. kind of uh, permeates the area. But uh, I think I will do the web. Actually, okay. I have conquered that. I think a little. Uh, yeah, so I'll left. just follow this weird purple webbing. Does that, do I hear what he's hearing? You sort of raise your fingers and pluck the, like an invisible string and as if um, sort of shaking the dew off an old web or uh, an old taut vine uh, as the uh, breeze uh, and as the, as the, these imaginary webs start to uh, uh, reverberate, it starts to then make space for you to be able to see it within the winds um, it's always the wrong token. Give me a sec, I gotta find Chet's right token. Um, is this it? Oh. Is that one working? Yes. Um, no, they both have the wrong one. HP. Mm -hmm. Gotta relink it. Why is it tied to... Alright, let me do that. It's okay. I you am just... used to be token for granted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. Um, this is... How about that? No? Why is it tied to... You gotta relink the, the HP did. and all that. I did. Just oh, change it to I a see. different one. I and what you mean. I see what you mean. Use this and then... Relink, like ah, I see what I did wrong. Um, as you reverberate these strands, hold, almost. There it is. Great. All right. So as you reverberate this uh, this strand of this webbing, it starts to like shake off uh, some of the dew, this in imaginary dew that was probably hiding it from plain sight. But the winds also reverberate, and you start to see as it strums the winds and this uh, purple iridescent green mist start to gather and start to then, as if there was a breeze, like a subtle breeze in the wall, starts to suck and pull a lot of that mist towards that picture frame. Do you feel what I was feeling? I think so, yeah. You also see Spellwind, as it is, Ethereal, uh, go through the space that where the picture frame is. Are there any loose stones or anything in this tower? Yes. I would like to try and toss one at the picture frame towards yeah, the center. Yeah, that's a good idea. Toss it towards the center of the picture frame. It flies in the air. See that smaller one here, and I'll pick up a tiny oh. one and hand it to him. Oh, um, you, you have a better arm than I do. <laughs> Why don't you oh, do sure. it instead? And then I just okay. toss it in <laughs> through. As you throw, it does exactly mm -hmm. that. It sails for a moment. It goes, hits the wall, but then keeps going and disappears. <gasps> okay. Can you send Violet in just so that we know it can come back? Or you know what? I'll just sure. Uh, okay, no, it's okay. No, 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 it's okay. I can use Violet. the torch. I, I have a job torch. for you. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. I just need you to fly through the picture frame here. Okay. You'll be okay. All right. And then come back. And then and come then... back. Okay. Violet leaps off of your shoulder. Lands. Perches midway through like a bird perching on uh, or like a bat i guess perching and then grabbing the side of the the wall but also their shoulder is missing as they sort of no clip through this wall uh and then they sort of look at you and then they for like approval jet and they uh violet just sort of shimmies into nothingness okay okay and can we still hear her? She sounds okay. All right. 
Fi, can you come back? Moments go by. You see a claw, another wing. Sort of leaps out of the space that it's in and flaps over haphazardly like a bat and lands on your shoulder. Okay. Okay. All right. I talk about inside my room. Um, also, she has, what's your, she's got a cork for a face? Um, sure, yes. Right, is that, I, you let me know, I don't remember how. She doesn't really have any features. Okay, but, but her head is like a cork bottle thing. Sure, yes. <laughs> I thought that's how I was making the noise. Um, uh, you see around what would be the bottleneck, uh, is, it looks like to be holding a large chain with, looks like to be, uh, it looks like a pocket watch, as if a pocket watch had a chain that went around like an amulet. And... Question. Is it sized to violet? No, no. It's, uh, it's okay. a large chain. It's a large... So okay, probably good. sized for... Total panic there. <laughs> humanoid of some sort. But... Okay. Okay. What's that? A pocket watch, it looks like. I think Violet must have gotten it from inside there. It must be the magical item that it was picking up, but the... The picture frame surely is still magical too. Is there a way to get to the picture frame or is it across oh, yeah. and on the wall? You can get to the picture frame, yeah. So we didn't have to send Violet flying through, I suppose. No, you could have reached. Okay. All right. Because... Are we going up to the top or... Hang on. I, I, I don't know, uh, Mr. Smith. This is passing strange, no? Um... This picture frame seems to be some sort of doorway to somewhere else, you know? Like okay. a bag of holding, but a picture frame. In a sense, yes. Brother Sykes, do you know anything about this picture frame? No. I not. There are several things throughout this place to test uh, various students who come by, but... Uh, the, the nature of this tower uh, changes from time to time. Otherwise, answers would be spilled. And if that's true, then no, then you'd be in the. If you are to cheat your way into uh, the Flaris Academy, then you will have. Uh, you will start your entire career as a cheater. And if that's the case, then why are you even learning magic at all? Fine by me. What's the cheating method? I'm saying there are uh, there are processes. It seems, in the magic of this tower itself, to keep those of us who have done it from telling us others how it works. This experience that we are experiencing now will then be different from the next time we ever come through here. That makes sense. All right. Well, we've okay. got a picture frame that uh, goes to someplace else. I, I could try and. What about the I... Are there any? You're making an assumption upstairs or something. You know. Hold on a moment. Please. You have to go back upstairs and get it. And You're making an assumption upstairs. that this is step number one. Just if because this is the first thing that we've encountered. Why don't we take a look and see what everything looks like first before we start fucking with this thing? Well, we're not fucking with it, Smith. We're just looking at it. Are there any markings or You just or threw something and Violet just went through this door and we don't know what would happen to Violet. A safe assumption, but um, I do know that this place. Um... Never mind. Oh, what I'm getting at is we should have all the information that we can have before we do anything. I'm gonna park myself here and wait till you figure it out. Sorry, I realized that when I said never mind, it probably sounded a bit more uh, dramatic than I meant. Um, yeah, absolutely, I, it so, did. So very sorry. Um, and also, this is good information. Uh, the um, uh, Those who are not invited to the Flairus Academy uh, could have a hard time through this tower. But I'm here, so we should be able to make it through. Okay. You're in good hands. I turn just to Smith me, and... Just tell me where to put my hands. Okay, I, I turn to Smith and wait for his cue. Well, I want to keep looking before we do anything more to this f picture frame. We're not doing anything to the picture frame. Just what does the watch look like, Chet? Is there anything on it? Any markings? 
I look at the watch momentarily. What well, DM? It is a silver watch with a golden frame. There's also looks like to be some sort of arcane runes uh, for numbers. So okay. Being one through twelve, it's separate runes, so, different language, maybe. So I feel like Brad now, then basically. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. I refrain from starting the identify ritual until we are done. Okay. Is that a normal watch? A great, All great right. idea. Because you'll be like, what is this? We need yeah. help. I'll hyper focus. This? Yeah. Um, then, yeah, I will start investigating the rest of the tower. Okay. Uh, on up. Down here, there isn't much more besides, like I said, these broken picture frames and things like that. No, I'll continue on up. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm leading the way. I was just kind of, um, just kind of, uh, figuring out all the different pieces before we try to put together a puzzle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That makes sense. And you can see this? Yes, now. Perfect. I will now change my thing back. Okay. Uh, you make your way up to this second floor, or is it third? You make it up here, a wooden floor, uh, uh, and also the wooden ceiling from the uh, floor below. Uh, four pillars sort of flank the center part of this uh, there, uh, this floor. The It is missing a good chunk of this center part here, but that is also flanked by uh, what looks like to be stone fencing. Uh, let me change this so people can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, stone fencing as if you were sort of looking down as a uh, at a balcony through the floor pri uh, previous, prior to this one. Um, up here, the wood seems to be old. The stones seem to be, um, they seem to have built up some algae or mildew on this, the bases of them as it's probably wicked some of the moisture that has been uh, absorbed by just the the wooden uh, planked floor here. Um, as you travel upward and as you look around the room, painted walls um, in a various uh, murals of the Arcane Academy. You would assume. The Academy that we know nothing about. The Academy that you know nothing about. You what would do assume. They look like? The there is uh, an old picture of a large white building, marble. Uh, it is tall and it has gold rings that wrap around it. There is one straight ahead as well that is uh, blue uh, gemstone in color, but this one is looks much like a domed, uh, much like a domed facility, and that is nestling between in some sort of tropical jungle. Uh, there uh, to the one on your east, uh, so that was uh, west and north, and the one on to your east uh, seems to be a uh, black sort of dodecahedron, the top of one cut into, uh, maybe it was stone or at least it was shaved or shorn down, but it is stuck in the center of what looks to be some sort of arctic location. Um, the, it looks like there was a blizzard uh, sort of in the background um, and as this sort of odd shape just sorts, sort of sits nestled. There are um, mages or robed uh, civilians or you would assume professors maybe that sort of are depicted here from an age past. And the one to the south, this mural, is one That is a large, uh, looks like a glassy green tower, spires up and there's also vines that wrap around it. And at the top, it looks like there is a large, uh, looks like a like an open hand or like maybe a large gargantuan brazier. Uh, landing uh, is a winged creature on that large brazier as if it was some sort of, as if it was some sort of, um, landing zone for winged creatures, dragons or griffins or uh, otherwise. 
this looks like some sort of wyvern, for those of you who know of any of the draconic lore. Uh, it has no front arms, but it instead where its arms are would be its wings. These large uh, wings are landing uh, on, uh, or at least about to land, much like uh, a bird going to land as well. Their, their wings way up in the air and their feet just sort of reaching out towards the, uh, this brazier, this large claw that is up from this glassy spire. Uh, and you also see miniature people, or these people, uh, sort of greeting the rider and also this wyvern. Um, as if, not like they're, not like this wyvern's going to attack or anything, but it looks like this, it's just another day in the life of whatever this place may be. But four different depictions of a facility that you would assume could one be. One on each wall? One on each wall. Mm. Do you notice anything strange about these, Varsha? How long does my detect magic Ten last? Minutes. Ten minutes. Would it still be up? It would still be up. Okay. But I think it's also safe to say that this entire tower is magic. <clears throat> yeah. Um. So it's hard to see, but nothing... If we were to look at like an infrared spectrum, all right, and we're looking at, is anything Jeez hotter here? Fucking right? nerd. Yes, yeah, go on. Is, is any is anything hotter, or is there is a trigger any sort of uh, a sensor? No, you don't see no? anything okay. uh, that stands out here. It is magic. This place is magical, but nothing stands out. Much like downstairs. Downstairs, you sort of hinted that there was magic, casting and learning and and calling on the spell one is a little bit easier here because of the magic that's in the area but also nothing really stood out except for that picture frame. Mm. Up here, nothing really stands out. There is a, um, it's, it's odd. The, as we look down toward, wait, hold on, I may be wrong, I am wrong. The, um, there are the stairs still do wrap around and sort of claw or climb up in this spiral fashion up and around the room. Sorry, I was, uh, I had my, my layout screwed up. Okay, I that's, mean, that's there's what's here. stairs over there, but I mean, everything's kind of coated in this weird purple. No, nothing stands out in particular. It all looks magical-ish mm -hmm. to me. That okay. Doesn't seem quite far off of what I would expect. From what Brother Sykes said, this, uh, it might be futile to look for any sort of physical solutions to these puzzles. All right, four portraits, one on each wall. Um, just in case, what do they look like? because of my nature, mm -hmm. I will investigate physically, yeah, yeah. even though I do not expect it mm -hmm. to work, uh, I will investigate around the room. Okay. Uh, looking for any sort of switches or anything along those lines, you checking to see if there's anything yeah. just to cover my bases. 27. About 15 minutes go by as you all sort of wait and get bored and watching uh, uh, Smith is, Smith does like his own comb over of this entire, uh, comb through of this entire corridor, this room. Yeah. And in those? He does his own comb over, just 15 minutes, and then he's like, all right, I'm good. Um, and okay. then, yeah, as you comb through this area, you don't see anything. Nothing sticks out at you. In those 15 minutes, I would have liked to think that maybe perhaps I would have tried to use my detect magic. Sure. I don't know, my uh, identify ritual on my uh, pocket watch. Sure. Roll me an arcana check. Eh, nine. Can I use my inspiration, please? Yeah, I should have said it before. Um. Okay. But, I mean, yeah, sure. I don't, I don't, if you would like to use it here, you totally can. You sounded very rosy there for a second, so I don't use it anymore. It's gonna, I'm going to keep it. Okay. Uh, 
Let me give you what it is that you need to decipher. Okay. Why is that being weird? What? Um, this thing's broken. Uh, move on, as you were. I will uh, go ahead and get this for you when I... Oh, I have it right here. Hold on, never mind. I forgot I saved this website. There you are. As you sort of decipher and try to uh, figure out what this is, the runes and these arcane markings that you would sort of decipher and uh, like, much like a puzzle, you now need to sort of decide and decipher what this is. And that is, that is the jumblings that you need to decipher. Unfortunately, okay. with a nine, I'm not able to give you a, a better hint. All right. There is one space. Okay. And that'll be my hand. Which you can see. But you all head upward after you sort of start deciphering. I yeah, follow. if there's nothing else here, yeah. I think we just continue to look and... Okay. You creak up the stairs to the next area. So, I believe I have a clockwork amulet on me right now. That's it. It's a clockwork amulet. Uh, the clockwork amulet. This copper amulet contains a tiny interlocking gears. It is powered by magic from Mechanus. Whatever that may mean. But a plane of clockwork predictability. A creature, that a creature that puts an ear to the amulet can hear faint ticking and a whirring noise is coming from within. When you make an attack roll wearing the amulet, you can forego rolling the d20 to get a, just to get a 20 on, or to, I'm sorry, to get a 10 on Fuck the die. Fuck off. Not a 20, a 10. To get a 10 on the die. Once used, it can't happen again until the next day. To get a 10 on the yeah, die. you can just take a 10 on an attack roll. Plus your bullshit. Plus, just plus your bullshit. Ten. Huh. So instead of rolling, okay. you can just take a ten. Yeah, interesting. Okay, I. I have a plus ten on one of these screamer sticks. Does that make it a natural twenty? That wouldn't yeah. be natural, but it would be a twenty. Shut up! I'm trying to argue it. <laughs> Don't tell him, Mike. <laughs> was I able to? Did you? Was I able to reveal to all of you? And my my map is broken. Yes, I, I give it to tie. Anything. You still can't see. <laughs> Darkness. There we go. I hand the ah, amulet over to tie. Oh, turkey. What's that? So as you make your Cornish way. Um, <laughs> so this this thing here, I believe, is called a clockwork amulet, and uh, well, while you are attacking it, would allow you to. I, <laughs> the workings of it are a bit uh, elusive to me, but I think it has some sort of element to maybe sl slow down time around you to make your make it so that anything you try and do within that time period will al allow you to maybe be, be more successful uh say if you are trying to you know hit something um it, it will make it so that th your chances of failure will be much less than other than uh, otherwise if you were to maybe perhaps rely on just pure skill alone um so i think maybe it's better for you than me I think he's to just saying it. it's harder for you to get surprised, maybe? I don't believe so. I think it's more of an active, an active process as opposed to a reactive process. Okay. You'll have to wear it. Um, I believe you could. it's a pocket watch, so maybe you, you can just clip it inside your, uh, your vest like so. Some Unless, of course, you're into fashion. You. Yeah. Attach them to wallets and clip them onto their belts. You're telling me this fucking thing is magic. Uh, yes, but 
Only very slightly so. You, you can only use it once a day, I believe. How much is that worth? Two gold. Alas, I am not in the market for such items. I don't know. Worth more than a few silver, innit? Surely. Quite likely, yes. Fucking hell. I must Boy. have stolen ten of these in my day. Okay, well, not every pocket watch is magical. I know exactly no, the same. Okay. Use me. Sold every single one of them to a geezer called Squirrel. Uh -huh. For a few silver. Done me over. Done me over. Had plenty of gold, didn't he? Oh, yeah. All right, well, we need to stop by Abervale after this. I've got a bloke to go and see. That was me some Yeah, money. we do. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to park myself here. The hell was that? Sykes? Yes. Did you hear that? No. Am I going crazy? No, I thought I heard something too. It was a memory. It was entire oh. mind of squirrel. Fuck, sorry. I oh, thought good. you were talking okay. ghosts around us and I was no, no. freaking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything I shouldn't have okay, well, place. Yep, I shouldn't I have, I I should have probably helped. Yeah, you no. did hear okay. it. You heard one of my memories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Came, yeah. I guess. yeah. Yep. Varsha heard it. Yeah. You remember Squirrel, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm also now very suspicious of Brother Sykes, and I don't like that. So thank you for that gift you gave me of paranoia. Perfect. Paranoia is fucking useful. Ooh. Always paranoid oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> you, um, <laughs> you're away. A micro expression. That wasn't a micro expression, that was just an expression. <laughs> <laughs> As you um, make your way up the stairs, uh, you creak your way up a stone tiles, uh, painted stone tiles start to uh, show through here. Uh, there is also, uh, looks like stained uh, wood here as well. There is a long red carpet that stretches through the center of this, uh, this corridor. On it, a long table. One candle is lit and it is flanked on the other side with a glass of wine. Uh, in the center of the table, there is, looks like to be, a large turkey, roasted, waiting to be eaten. The room does smell delicious. Looks like it could have been ripped out of uh, a noble's home. And what else is around? No, um, specifically, I'm looking for any signs that, uh, of elves, which sound really weird, but. Elves. I know you're not supposed to eat food from Fay, so I just want to, <laughs> I think it would be just be habit for Varsha to look okay. around and be like, huh, I wonder if this is a thing that is true. Roll me an investigation. All right. What are we looking at? What's here? What's going on? It smells delicious. Um, it's uh, a dining hall, maybe. Very mm. fancy. Mm. Very well. Um, Ooh, that means we there's... must be close. If I remember correctly, um, I was... The... the Flairers the Academy usually like to treat the students before they are to, make the, to take the test. Yeah, See? I'm not eating that. Very well. Is it Why? fried chicken? Why okay. do they like to treat the students? So they come in to the, uh, to the academy full-bellied and uh, happy and ready to learn. Is, the, is it magical? Oh, yes. Good? But of course it is. Fuck. I'll eat some. <laughs> okay. Wait, are you, are you sure? I mean, unless you grab my hand and stop me, I will walk over I'm and I will take a piece of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Say, whoa, hold on. Again. He said it's what? magical. Yeah. Right. Um, but we, of course, of course. And I'm going to give Varsha, like, the death stare. Can I see that, please? 
Sarah, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I, he said it was magical. Miss, Miss Vasha, I thought I knew you better than to eat random food off the table like a dog. Well, it's yes. not, okay, first of all, it's not random yes, food off the table. He did. Let's wait a minute, okay, before we start eating things in a tower that's magical. Sure. If you are not going to, I would like to. But I could wait. It's just my stomach. Very hungry. Teach I hand over a ration to him. Thank you. <laughs> Does he eat it? Or your ration? Yeah. I I have never quite watched the man eat before. I want to make sure that he's eating the food. Okay. You, he pulls it apart. It's, this is your soup roll up, what right? Are you one of my family members at a holiday event? Listen, this man made giant tentacles sprout out of the ground, and nobody said anything about the calamari that was on the ground when he, when, when he, when he made it. So, for he's all intent, intents and purposes, I don't trust him, man. What is this? It's like soup. Soup. Right, yes, it it's a roll-up. Yes, soup roll-up. Mm. That is interesting. I'm going to just save some for later. No, it's okay. You can eat it now. It, it's it's filling. You won't have to eat this. Mm, I'm full for now. Thank you. Okay. I keep staring at him. Is he still looking at me? Uh, no. Are there more floors? He's not. Uh, there is a chandelier that doesn't look like it's connected to anything, but above the chandelier, there is a hatch with a ladder to one more room. So no more stairs, but there is a chandelier with a hatch above it. Mm hmm Um. Uh, I will, uh, motion towards, um, uh, Varsha or Jet and say, look up there, is that... Does that look like anything? Um, magical, you mean? Yeah. I pull out the, uh, the wand of magic detection again, and I hold it up towards the, uh, area. And check if it is or not. Towards the, towards the latch? Uh, yes, wherever. Yeah, it's the only thing, out. the only things that reverberate in this room, or at least would show, would be the glass of wine, the turkey on the table, the candle. Okay. Um, some of the lanterns that are hung up on the walls, uh, the chandelier, obviously, and then that's it when it comes to the most magical in the room. Everything else there's magical. There's still an air of magic in the room, but that is, those are the magical things in the room. Okay, um, I suppose, but I, I, everything else is as well. Okay. I'm going to, um, look at this food that's prepared here. And there's a candle, there's a roast turkey, and then there is a drink. I'm sorry, the candle is not lit. The candle is not lit. Um, yeah. But you do know it's magic, because that's uh, what Jet just said. Yeah. Okay. I am... Okay. I, uh, I'm going to take a look at the candle. I'm going to look, is the chandelier lit up? Nothing is lit in this room. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to, uh... I'm 
going to some something that you've never seen Smith do before is uh, I look at my my gauntleted hands and I remove the gauntlets from my hands. I retract that portion of the armor and then um, I'm going to um, hold my fingers up as if um, um, they are all pointing upwards and then um, one at a time um, I'm going to snap each of my fingers and as I do you can see um, bits of flame green flame begin to illuminate each fingertip and soon the flame encompasses uh, each of my hands as I use green flame blade cool except for smith it wouldn't be a blade it would green wrap around his hands flame armor yeah awesome flame fist yes um, and I will light the candle. All right, you touch the green flame to the wick of the candle. The candle starts to then take the flame. Green at first, and then it morphs into that orange um, as it starts to then burn the carbon from the wick. Then, as it lights, so does all of the candles around the chandelier. The uh, hooded lanterns that are hanging off the wall all light as well. And now, it's lit up in here. Okay. Chandelier above, the four sconces, and the candle are now lit. Maybe now, Varsha. If you I want think to dig in. light a cigarette from the candle. Yeah, the camera sees the leaning <laughs> against a wall. The camera sees going to uh, everything light up and then resist the urge to pluck that from his mouth and take it for myself because I think I also now crave this as well. You know, um, okay, oh, sure. No, of course not. I'm uh, I'm going to motion to each of the seats and I'm going to say, if we're going to have a meal, we should probably sit down. Mm, yes. Okay. Oh, nice. The chair scooches out as uh, Brother Sykes and. Oh, Jesus, sits down. I mean, it just did it by itself. Okay. No, cool. so it's just a minute. It eats Brother just Sykes. Um, he, yeah, he, he <laughs> scooches it out and sits down. And... He's in. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, yep. Put my sure. boots up on the table and lean back in the chair. I sit down as well. I. Stand, I stay standing for a bit, I suppose. And then I sit down. Brother Sykes takes the, um, some, I think he like takes his robe and tucks it up into the collar as if it was like the back of his robe is like now gonna be his uh, napkin as he just sort of waits for someone to serve some food. Plates start to then uh, spill out from under the tray. <laughs> Um, and sort of like a, a dealing machine, right? The, the cards that would fly out at you. Um, sort of these tray <laughs> would uh, just land perfectly in front of you. And then <laughs> it would keep rotating and uh, launch these uh, silverwares. <laughs> it's just to land right where they should be. As okay. you all get ready to dig in. No, oh. I, I say, okay, now I am going to go and say grace. And I pull out a large piece of What's parchment. Grace? and Place it over she? to the uh, to the uh, God King. And then I uh, no, the you will book. not. Oh, sorry, Christ, the God King, fuck the King. Okay, and then I now. cast detect magic on the chicken. The chicken's magic. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I tried to identify the chicken. Uh, identify <laughs> the chicken. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is exciting. Uh, okay. Chicken is magic. It's a magic. Chicken. <laughs> that better be the episode title. Yeah. It's the magic chicken. Um, anyway, our new sponsor. <laughs> magic chicken. Magic chicken, like magic spoon. 
Chick-fil-A. Chicken crates. <laughs> You're making an arcana save? Arcana check? An arcana check, okay. I look at these people as if I have never seen them before. I have no idea who they are. Willing to eat random chicken off a table. And not my soup. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want me to do an arcana check for the cantrip? Yes. For green flame bridge. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm going to burn to death, are we? Maybe. Okay. 15. We're fine. Is that your arcana, the 12? Yes, it was. There you go. That is... Oh, okay. I lift the I, the thing off and I fold it away and I say, Enjoy! It is a simple... Uh, well, I mean, I say simple. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I bring out a knife and carve it. This is a hero's feast, I say to them. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. You all it's have the benefits if you choose mm -hmm. to eat here. You all have the benefits of Hero's Feast. The creature that partakes in the feast gains several benefits. The creature is cured of all diseases, poisons, and becomes immune to poison and being frightened and makes all wisdom saving throws with advantage. Uh, its hit points maximum also increases by 2d10. What uh, the fuck? And gains the same yeah, number Hero's of hit feast points is legit. for 24 hours. Fucking... So everyone could roll 2d10 and add that to oh, your Oh, wow. Hits. Could we roll worse? <laughs> you roll no, worse? right? Ooh, look at these rolls. Oh, you can't because... I don't know. They are the kitchen. Oh. oh that's, that's pretty good. Yes. Look at that. Enjoy, everyone. <laughs> I've rolled the highest yum, with yum. average. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. And, uh, Commoner's feast, everyone. The commoner's feast. Uh, Brother Sykes rolled a 11. Yum, yum. What Delicious. kind of chicken was this? Delicious chicken. Spell roasted chicken. Okay. It's like when you get the KFC, but you know it was yesterday's chicken that they microwaved because mm -hmm. the guy called yeah. in sick that day. <laughs> exactly. This was probably made for the other person that was here, and you're just sort right. of enjoying someone else's meal, but you're like, this is fine. It's free food. Um, but yeah, you all gain the benefits of that, uh, which is super cool. Uh, and I think you all just enjoy some time, maybe an hour or so of just eating. Unless you're all like terrified and skeptical about what's happening. But either way, you do I enjoy think. and have this meal. It does taste yeah. delicious and you all do relax a bit. Whether or not you noticed, I think. So I am still kind of curious about the, the painting downstairs and where it goes mm. to. Is it like a whole other place or is it just like a little small shop. right well the um do you do you have can i have the, sure, the yeah, drumstick yeah. there yeah go ahead thank you yeah um well i was thinking about it um if all of the pieces that we've seen so far are um related to each other um we have a clockwork amulet we have a picture frame that takes you someplace else that sounded like a clock and then we had four pictures of different places i wonder if they are related to each of those things so I if there if is an just... amulet and it sounds like a clock a, a pocket watch if if you change it to a different time perhaps it takes you to a different place yeah or if you take the different pictures and put them on the where mm. the frame is then maybe we can go to that specific place, maybe? Right. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. The fuck are you not talking about? Oh, we're just trying to figure out this place. It's a puzzle time. I don't see mm. any paintings on the wall. Mm. Puzzle? Downstairs, there were paintings on the wall. What's that? Is there, one, is there any more floors? Is it? Well, there's a hatch. No, there are the... stairs right over there. Well, then this isn't oh, it yet. The puzzle is the top floor. Yeah. Maybe the, the things along the, the way floor. just help us for the puzzle. On I the see. Top floor, the test. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I feel of... really good, by the Curiosity. way. Curiosity. This food is great. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Best meal I've had in a long time. Boom. Yeah. 
Still, Very good. I mean, is that what? Is that? Is there anything is there dry? Is that anything to drink? Anybody have any water? Or anything? There's wine here. Oh, pass that here. Out of curiosity, oh, how much good. HP did Brother Sykes get? Eleven. Eleven. The little shit. <laughs> get far. Um, he uh, uh, has a sip of the wine, and I think you all see the levels down as it as he drinks a couple gulps, puts it down, and for those eyes that are still lingering on the glass, you see it fills back, back up. up. Yep. Oh my God! I will also have some. Okay, it does the same. I don't think I trust the food very much, which is why I don't have much of it and why my HP is so okay. low. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Oh, so I think. Onward. You know, I'd probably be more full if I didn't have that soup roll up. Is that what you're calling it? I just stare at the man. Is he still looking at me? Yes. Okay. And it's not great. We will. He's really proud of the food that he makes. No, I mean, if I didn't eat it, I would have been, I would have been able to eat yeah, more. I like it. Yeah, but he's taking it like you're implying, like it wasn't it good was enough. Delicious. It was delicious. Wait, is he over here? It was delicious. It's to your left, to your left. Yep, there you go. It was great. Thank you. I was, I'm sorry I didn't eat all of it. I'll have some more late. I can't, I would eat now, but I would, I'm afraid I would lose my dinner. But this was great. Thank you, everyone. And they sort of... Uh, untuck, um, untucks the robe that was his nap, or the other robe that his napkin <laughs> falls down to his ankles again. He stands up and dusts off, just grease all over his chin. Hmm. Wonderful. Did any did anything happen to that hatch after we eat, or anything along those lines? Oh, there. It's an empty. It's an empty space above the floating chandelier with a ladder mm -hmm. peeking out of it. Oh, peeking oh, up okay. above. Yeah, I yeah, assume. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right above. Yep. Yeah. Like right above. The chandelier, there's like a space with a little bit of a ladder coming out. There is, maybe there was a hatch, but during the meal, you look up and notice that now it's missing and there is a ladder peeking up. It's about 10 feet up. Maybe Jed, can I lightning lure it? Well, Sorry? Jed, Jed, I was going to suggest maybe you can use your hand to reach up there and grab it. Okay. Oh, that's probably um, way better than a lightning lure. So, uh, already one step ahead, I have it in my hand, and I shake it, and and uh, the bubbles come out and mm -hmm. uh, form into a hand, and float up towards the ladder and uh, try and pull it down. Mm -hmm. It sort of brushes by the chandelier. The chandelier sort of, as if it's in zero gravity, jostles a bit, and then sort of guides out of the way as you push it back, uh, past, uh, and then uh, it grabs onto the rung, and... You could slide it down onto the table. Okay. Well, there it is. I am still very curious about the pocket space downstairs in the picture. I start taunting the hunter. Okay. I think he wants us to look everywhere first. Okay. Then we'll go back, because I'm also curious about it, too. Then we want to... If I'll climb up the I ladder think as well. it's wait, hold on, hold on. And he's oh. reaching to get up some more morsel of off the plate. If we are going to go up there, there is an, if we solve whatever's up there, then we may not ever come back. Well we could, but I'm saying oh, we would because it would So, so if this do, is it, the this it's is the, the last JRPG, floor. like are you sure you want to continue because you can't come back to disc one? Let's come on. Right. <laughs> We're gonna going into act two here in a moment. So, um, but, uh, yeah, it's... I don't know, the frame seems like DLC. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, you have to pay for that. Thing. But, yeah. If, if this is the last was... floor, then fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll go is investigate it? that thing. I think as you look up, there's no indication, and with a quick cursory glance, because you've already sort of climbed up the ladder, there is Why? no indication that it goes up any farther. It must be if they're feeding you right before... I don't see any other stairs or anything up here. Okay. Can we go back and check? Yeah. All right. To save on time, you go back and check. Thank you. And it is just some sort of illus illusory shelf. That's sort of it. It's um, as you just, just sort of, a shelf behind the you picture. you sort of feel through the area right. like a, a, a space, um, like a foot by a foot. 
um, and a soup by the foot. And then there's a where you would think would be the um, the amulet was probably resting, but you just sort of feel around in there, and that's just pretty much it. You do finally make your way back up, and I would assume through the through that the threshold to the top floor. Yes. Okay. Well. But don't we feel so much better for knowing? <laughs> yes, yes, actually. Okay, all right, mm-hmm. good. Uh, all right, you all sort of make your way up. Who goes first? I will. Okay. For no particular reason. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't have the pocket watch. But the watch is for attacking only, right? All right, so you make it up to this floor. I'm going to try to just move the map oh. over so I can... Vasha casts ear worm. <laughs> so, a couple things about this next floor. Vasha like, casts demon gaze. We have... <laughs> that's a bonus action. We have a... Um, <laughs> Well, I think we'll be fine. Never mind. I thought we had less time than we thought. Okay, cool. This will be fun. All right, here we go. I'm still... Hope we all didn't want to break today, because we don't have time for it. Ha ha! I think we've broken a lot today. <laughs> it's true. Not nearly as much as last week. Uh, Meyer. Uh, let's... Do this. Let me reveal stuff. Oh, yeah. Do you remember when Maya was on MDMA or something? <laughs> <laughs> what an episode. Um, let's crazy, uh, do... I have no recollection of talking about Thank you very much. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm surprised. That makes sense. <laughs> I can't remember the next day either, can you? <laughs> now we know. All right, here we go. Mine, this my is... jokes for people who <laughs> didn't play D&D when they were 20. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> found it when I was 32. As you make your way up here, the floor all around you, there are these markings. I don't even look at them, and I didn't the, look at anything the entire time. I've been following you guys around uh, with a cigarette in my mouth, and I have only been looking for things that are going to attack us. I didn't even see the paintings on the walls in the other room. Mr. Tai, what do you think about all these images on the floor? Looks like spell went bullshit. <laughs> well, there's f- four of some markings, three of some, and two and one. What? Different quantities of each of these markings. Four of these. Cyan-colored ones. Four of these circular markings with the X through them. And three of the markings that are purple. Three of the gold markings with the squares. Two of the... Or three of the white circular markings. Two of the pink markings, and then one of the pentagram-style markings. Do you think it's something we must do in order? Potentially. I don't know which we'd do first, if we're counting down or up. And what we would have to do to each of them. Potentially cast magic on each of them. Stand on them. Or try and trace them. Those would be my first thoughts. Mate. The easy option here would be to... And I still have the flask in my hand. And another hand crawls out of it. And effervesces over to the pentagram. I don't touch the floor just yet, but I motion with the bubbly hand to Mr. Smith. Arm upwards in a questioning gesture. The safest option will be to maybe perhaps press this one first and see what happens. Yeah. 
That's the one that's got one marking. Unless right. it's counting downwards. I look to Tai and I say, Mr. Tai, um, do you see any... If you look around for us, do you see anything that could be, I don't know, like a tra- trap? Something dangerous? Mm, let me think about this. Every fucking thing in this entire tower. I know, but you want to narrow when it down? anything physically dangerous, because obviously there are glyphs, sigils, runes around us, but we don't know what they do. If it triggers something, maybe you have a better eye for it. It might be worth looking at. Maybe the walls well, or something for us a, first. It's a plate. You want to look for loose stones or loose slats in the wall, stuff like that. Holes, little holes that things can be fired out of. Little thin bits of string and ropes and that. See. Trip. Okay. Good luck. But you don't see any of that, or you are just going to stand there? Look, by the end of today, you'll be able to sneak around and spot traps. Have a look. Okay. Spring. Loose rocks. Stones. Pressure plates, things like that. Little holes, discolored bits of stone, bricks. I should look I'm just through. Af- afraid that if we fail, they might, I don't know, those ghosts from down the town might come, and ha- come up and get us. As you look through the area, you do notice um, that uh, the ground here seems to be tiled. Um, at least in a way that there is uh, grooves etched in this painted tile from the previous floor. It looks like um, there either is grout or somebody hand uh, engraved straight lines across. There is a grid in this entire room. Um, you also see that in some of the spaces there are these, there's, um, uh, looks like uh, either ink was spilled or um, uh, painted. Um, I think it looks like it was painted, but it's thin enough that you would assume it's ink that has been stained onto some of these tiles where these X's are. And can you move the tiles? Does it look like they can move? You bend over and you try to see if you can lift one or move move one or get your fingers around in any of the mm. grout or the, and you aren't able to move any of them. Mm. Okay. What about with the magic hand? I I place the... I place the hand down onto the pentagram and see what happens, if anything. Nothing. Okay. Are you able to move the tile with the magic hand? As opposed to... It might be too heavy to do so, but I'll try. And I try and use the hand and push it north to south towards the X. Doesn't move. I don't think they move. Mm. Okay. At least, not by sliding, maybe lifting. Mm. Okay. Well, what does it look there's... like? What's going on? What, what's the What's the task? Well, there's uh, there's seven different types of these. Um symbols on these various tiles on the floor. Seven different times. Very well. Yeah. Um, and there are different quantities of them. Made an assumption that uh, one of these symbols had one to represent it. Um, might be the first, since there's only one of them. And um, Jet use... Well, his magic hand to uh, try and touch it or move some of the tiles around. I... Nothing happened. No, at least when the hand touched that particular tile. However, I could always make it run across all the rings, and you see this hand, uh, which was floating, now is going to go into like a... Uh, I guess the thing sort of position, like where it runs on its index and middle finger. Yeah. And uh, it's going to run across the uh, the perimeter and see if any of these blocks react to react. 
the particular magic that this land has. Make me an arcana check. Ten. No. Okay. So it seems as if if roll these things are scroll up. Oh, it is. Yep. That's kind of not even in the perfect of thinking. It seems as though if these things are reactive to magic, at least the magic that, uh, or the school of which this mage hand is part of is not a member here. Otherwise, I think if it was a test like that, it would have um, reacted. Mm. How many of us are there? Five. In this room. Five. How many are there of... Eleven. The most... No, of, of the most sigils, so the most uh, color. Uh, there's four of the... the largest amount of them. Which is there's the light blue, correct? And and the circles with the X through them. Oh, I see that so now, two too. two different ones have four. So I doubt it's anything to do with maybe we step on those and see what happens if all of us are touching it. I'm going to... Um, there's Spellwind moving about in this place, yes? Yes. Yes. It has been a long time since anyone has... Like, no one, you, no, you, are, do, yes, you would assume, <laughs> but no one's done detect magic. Mm. So it's not freely flowing right now, or okay. no one's looking at it. You would assume it's happening, because it always yeah. does, but. I'm going to um, pull, like I'm pulling a thread across mm. my eyes, and um, I will cast detect magic. As you do, like a cat's cradle across your eyes, you're, you blink for a moment, your eyes adjust, and then you're able to see the magic in the room. The floor is magic. The sigils are magic. Arcana check. Make me an arcana check. Mm. You roll 20. You solve it. The, um... Whoa. Close. <laughs> that was a 19. Um, so, yeah, as you sort of look through the area, you see... Inscribed on the wall, vertically, is this. Um, is it? Can I just no? I yes. Instructions. <laughs> this is it. It's gotta be it. Um, is my still still being weird? That's why. Reveal areas, okay. Ah, so there's another symbol that we don't see. Or they're different. Which one? They're the same. There's two the green that one. Well, there's two that we don't have. Uh, this one that's purple and, and has... activated Brad. I knew it. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to do a puzzle. And then he's like, the green I'm one. Act <laughs> I'm activated. Tie yeah, yeah, sure. I have to, I have to uh, tie, like, uh, tie myself back. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you can totally take part. I don't care. This is for everyone. This is for the players. Mm, yeah, there's totally, two new totally symbols that I see here. Um, one is... One is purple and has a six-sided star running through it, and another is green and has some sort of writing in the center uh, that we do not see here. Did you see any of those symbols when we were making our way through this tower, or are they located? Do I see them anywhere else? May I make a history check? Because I have no idea. You could make me a history check, Smith, with advantage, because this is sort of recent. 
22. You've seen these markings before in Selray's book. Oh. What were they in relation to? The various concentric circles in the pages of her book were probably in relation to different various spells. She had a notebook and she also had her spell book. And you've been learning and reading things from her spell book as well as her notebook. Uh, so you would assume that they're potentially tied to spellcraft. These two other symbols, I've seen them before from Selray. They were in her books. Okay. For, for what, like a particular spell uh, or? They were related to spellcraft. I'm not sure if they're specific spells or not. I'm going to try something. Um, I'm going to cast a spell. Uh, specifically, I am do, looking around. Do I see the spell wind moving about in this place? Yes, um, you do, but it's collecting near this key, this gridded clue, I guess, whatever this, this vertical striation of, of these and sigils is where it's going. Going to, as if I'm trying to slice through the spell wind with my hand mm -hmm. and scoop it, bring it to my mouth. I'm going to collect my fingertips and ball them into a fist, leaving my thumb up. And I take a deep breath as if I'm breathing in the spell wind. And I blow it out and a fog cloud begins to fill the room. Super cool. Okay. As you... I can't see. Start to blow out the spell wind, uh, transferring this ethereal wind uh, into, uh, I would assume, the material plane, or this, um, the, the, yeah. Uh, you cast fog cloud. The room fills, or at least up to the space of um, fog cloud. I think it's a 40-foot diameter. Yeah, I think so. I think it fills the room. Um, or close to it. I think the edges may be out. Yeah, it's a 40-foot diameter rate, a 40-foot diameter sphere. Uh, and what is the purpose of this? So it seems like just beyond the sigils is where this cloud sort of encompasses. Yeah, so it should encompass all of this. I'm trying to get mm -hmm. the whole room. I'm trying to see if there is a reaction to anything from any of this. See. Do I notice any uh, yes. strange discolorations happening? Yes. You notice if um, towards the center, as you blow the spell wind into the uh, into this. Uh, space into the material plane, you notice that there are these rods just sort of like they were dropped haphazardly, sort of in a pile in and around this area and this area. Upon further inspection, it looks like as you go to, I would assume, pick it up, they're chalk. As you pluck it into the material plane, what? you are now holding chalk. I am holding it. Yes. How many, is there one stick of chalk? There's a couple of sticks uh, of chalk. There's enough chalk here. Therefore, we don't have to worry about it. There's enough chalk here. Uh, just sort of scattered uh, bits. Um, some some are tucked away in the corners. If you move the fog cloud, you'd be able to see it. But um, there, like there is just, it looks like it's been uh, scattered and strewn. Um, if, when you could step over them and they don't really make a crunching noise um, or anything like that, until you pick them up, they are then brought into reality. But there is chalk just throughout the room. I'm going to uh, pick up the chalk, and then um, I'm 
there were three of these X's. We're missing two symbols. And if we follow the repeating pattern, there's four of these cyan colored ones. There's four of the circles with the X's. Three, three. The yellow square. Yeah, three yellow and three white. Two, and then, three of the blue as well, the blue ringed ones. Yeah. So two fours, three threes, and then... Four twos? No, there's only... That's impossible. Yeah, there's only uh, one two and one one. So my guess is we need... Probably one more of the. Well, we need we need to put these other symbols in the in this key here, where those other where those yeah. other places are. I just don't know how many. We do draw think, them with the chalk. Yeah. Do you think that we need to change any of the current symbols to be the ones that we're missing, so that we have the right number? Like one of the one, two of two. Just a note: the 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 symbols that you see on the ground mm-hmm. are painted. Ah, uh, so not done the, with chalk. Okay. Yeah, not done with chalk. Are painted into okay. the stone. Um, okay. Okay. So onto the, onto the surface of these tiles. I don't know if their position has anything to do with anything either. Looks very haphazard. Yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? Mm. If this is it, then this whole place should be able to take us there. This is a teleportation ritual? Is that what you're saying? Yes, oh yes. It must be. If you said there was a rings of inscriptions across in a circle, I would only assume yes. Okay, um, what about this, um, this green symbol here? Um, and then I describe what it looks like as best I can to him. I don't see the thing anymore. Mm. To Sykes. Do you recognize that by chance? Mm. Uh, so yeah, it sounds so. like to me necromancy maybe? Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't know. If we fuck oh. this up, are we going to teleport our I, legs I, somewhere else? I feel like if we fuck I'm this uncertain. up, we might. No, 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 we won't never happened. There's never been any cases of that, but now that I think about it, maybe it just hasn't been reported, because they've been somewhere else we've never heard of it. But I would have assumed no. I mean, if you are bright enough to do this, then you are bright enough to do this, and you should uh, go to the Academy. Yes. But what if we're not bright enough, I guess, is what we're getting at. I've already failed at being trained by one mage. Yeah. We'll Maybe it was your teacher who was at fault. Well, then we may, we must make sure that this is correct. I do have a question, um, though, out of character, mm-hmm. because I am thick. I was zoomed in into the map, so I had no idea what you were talking about when you were talking about things revealed. I now see above mm-hmm. there are a bunch of new symbols. What are those about? That is on the wall. Oh, they're there. The wall. Okay. Yeah, scroll up. Okay. That's our key. I've also given you some space there if you wanted to take notes or some shit. Our key. Oh, I see. So that is the order in which they need to be triggered or what? We have no idea. don't know. But this symbol here, the green one, um, as well as this purple one Mm. uh, up top here with the star uh, are not on the floor right now. Okay. My, My thinking is we have one of each of the purple and the green and then a second red pentagram. Maybe they are Okay. Well, Brother Sykes just said necromancy, did he not, when he described the green thing? The green Mm. one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, What about um, a light blue one, triangle, uh, 
a dotted circle in the middle and three circles surrounding the triangle? Mm, it's been a long time since I've studied schools, um, but... Um, oh, wrong computer. It is uh, the triangle. Oh, this is so dumb. Sykes, here, oh, take chalk. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I'll pull out a piece of parchment or the back of the map and be like, just draw the schools you know. And we'll cross-reference with Very what well. you know. With well. So just out of character, um, I'm just not sure if, if it's a map thing or a, a gamma thing. Are there only those three spaces that have the um, the oil stains or whatever on the ground? Or are there four? I don't know and what I this green line the other one. is here. So that's weird. Um, a, the oil stains, are these, uh, the, the, the crosses on them? Oh, yeah, I like see, where I you, yeah, you, there's you a, marked three X's. So I assume that's yeah. where the oil stains were. So the floor here is all the same material. It's just shadow coming in from, and lighting coming in from the eastern wall. Um, though the spills or these X's are painted on top of the tiles there. Yeah. Um, there, these one, two, three, four. Double checking my work. Um, yeah. Are all. There is nothing underneath them. They just have the X's. Yeah. Brother Sykes. But you said four, not three. Right, that could be a gamma X's. thing. That could be a gamma thing. There's one right here. Okay. Oh, is, there, is that it? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah sorry, that, that changes everything. Uh -huh. That's okay. why I asked. Yep, thank you. Um, yeah, okay. I see it now. Okay, so if that is the case, then uh, there's the four, four spaces that have these oil stains, uh, four, four of these tiles. So I'm assuming that we have to place those down there. Um, if that is the case, then perhaps we do two of each of the green and the purple. Um, then we wouldn't use that, the red pentagram. Eh? I'm not sure I follow. The arcane is something beyond me. Uh, how many types of magic are there? Eight schools. Is it possible they're in order? Well, there's nine symbols. Brother Sykes, yes, what yes. are yeah. um, one, two, three, four, six concentric circles normally in a beige pattern or beige color? Mm, just punched the wall on accident. Um, the, um, there's a wall there. Yeah, thank you. Um, they're all over here then. Um, concentric circles in a, yes. in a pattern. Void, void magic. Void magic. Yes. Are you someone who can practice void magic? Yes. Okay. How many schools of magic are there, Brother Sykes? Some argue eight. I say nine. Well, if there's nine symbols here, then you might the be right. The point is to learn, yeah. So what's the symbol for void magic? So As I said, the, the concentric circles. These the symbols for teleport magic. And that would be the ninth, would it? Correct. But there are three? There are four of them. What if we just draw the teleport magic? Um. Yeah, but what does that mean, Ty? <laughs> oh, man. How do you draw the teleport magic? I think that's what we're trying to figure out. You're standing there holding chalk in your hand, aren't you? Well, yeah, but I don't know what to draw. We have I these symbols. That's why I asked right like, for one. one's a teleport one. What's teleport know, magic look like? Can... Another reminder, this room is like obviously tiled. The grids that you see on the map exist on the map, or exist in this room. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
but we've already we've, we've established tried to move, you can't move them. Yeah, we've tried to move them. Tried to move them. Can we? Can we? Can we lift them? We cannot lift them. Mm. Or shift them, or rub them, or anything else. But they agreed regardless. Can we? Can we? I think it's my monitor, which is the devil. Uh, can somebody mark in like white which, where the tiles are where that the other are marked? Yes. Yes, I can. Also, um... The key on the wall um, still sort of hums with light um, uh, with the same... Uh, oh, thank you, someone who did that. Um, I did. And... Um, you could also actually probably mark the other concentric circle ones too. Because they have already been. Mm -hmm. And that's that oil. Sense. You say that's on them, not something else. It's like ink. It's like it's been stained. Wait, in why ink. are we marking the concentric circle? Because they also have an X through them? Because they've already been X'd out. Uh, okay. And they're X'd out on the key we see as well, no? Yes. So, if they have already been X'd out, uh, bear with me for one second. Does that mean that that's the first part of this puzzle? And so the second part would now be finding where the green goes, no? Well, uh, that's assuming that the green even goes anywhere. Because we have two symbols on the wall that aren't on the floor. However, right. you just r mentioned that the the circles that are already marked on the floor, there are four of them. And Correct. there are four on the ground. So it is possible that one of those should be one of the symbols on the wall. It could be. Well, this is where I worry that it may be too hard. But it's fine. It's got a well, really great reward. If, <laughs> if these concentric circles were void magic, and they're already crossed out. There's four of those, and there's also four of these cyan markings with the circle and the triangle and the three circles on the inside. Nice. Well, we know what, what school of magic that relates to. Brother Sykes had not told us just yet what it was it was about to. Which one with the triangle one? The triangle um, one? Yes, the cyan one. I the cyan one is... Um... Uh, if it's got a triangle in it, and it's uh, surrounded by circles with um, three others, and in a circle in the center, that would be, that would be the school of enchantment. It's enchantment, if I remember correctly. It's it's either it's that, or it's, I think it's enchantment. Well, I cast, okay. I cast a fog cloud spell, which is a conjuration spell, mm -hmm. and the chalk appeared. Mm-hmm. Did that coincide with any of these specific tiles? Like, I mean, as a reaction to me casting a fog cloud, did the chalk he, appear he, where, um, those, where those coinciding tiles are? I want to say yes, because it'll help with some clues, but also if that's yes, that means that I'd have to also help out with the mage hand that, um, jet cast earlier when it ran around the, the block. So um, that being said, conjuration was what you just did for your fog cloud, fog correct? Cloud. Yes. Uh, so conjuration would be... That just out of character. That mm -hmm. was my goal before yeah. anyway. I think it works. Conjuration would be the red star. Mm. And what is uh, Mage Hand? I think that might be conjuration as well. It's not abjury. Oh, and I have it. It's conjuration. Yep. So then, before going back in time and fixing the, uh, fixing the rift and mistakes, the uh, red rune in the circle lit up. Yeah. So when when your okay. ma mage hand went across it. All right. Okay. 
And then when the hand came off it, did it steal it or did it then dim out again? It dimmed out again. Okay. Indicating that it was a uh, of magic. Right, so I, I understand, understood. But I turn to the others and I say, okay, we have established the word key has shown up and turned up a lot of times already, which means that this thing on the wall is the key, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the ones that we have established as being void magic are crossed out. Does that mean that we do not need to cast void magic or is that the start of this puzzle? Not That's my sure. first question. And then my second question is, Brother Sykes knew that this second thing here was necromancy magic. I do not know if I have necromantic magic, but the green, I would, the green I one was necromancy, right? Right, yes. yes. You said you do? Actually, I, think I, so, I, yeah. I believe I, I do as well. The sworn. the sworn use a lot of it, so I think. Okay. All right. So here is my uh, proposal, if you all would humor me. These other things here that are crossed out, we don't know what they are, what they're supposed to be, but I could easily use my magic on this block here and see if it reacts to necromantic magic. If it does, then it means that that is where, you know, like that... Do you understand? Yes. I, I turn to Smith. Do you concur? Yeah. Okay. But how often can you use your own, Ms. Vasha? Um. I've got a better idea. Let me try with something that I can do. Are we casting magic here? Easily. Uh, yes. We were thinking about it. I'm uncertain if this... This is meant for bright students, not necessarily wizards, because the, the students would become wizards. So I'm not certain if spells pertain to the solution to this problem. I see. Okay. Maybe the knowledge so... itself, that, that could be it. The knowledge of the okay. schools, maybe, or perhaps knowing of what they are, there's a key somewhere. Yeah. Well, apparently that each of these symbols is relating to a school of magic. We were mm. trying to determine which one is which. Mm, mm, yes, yes. Mm, well, um, this, uh, if I remember correctly, there's one with, uh, illusion was um, multiple, I'm trying to remember, it's been so long, multiple of... Four circles next to each other. That's it. Yes, that's illusion. Yes. Um, and then there was, um... Where's Smith? Uh, there was... Um, protection is what abjuration, protection is abjuration, so that means that there was the sigil of uh, barriers. Um, the, um... Square? No, 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 no. Uh, is there a circle with any sort of bold... Uh, in, inside the circle, so like reinforcing the circle. Okay, yes. That's abjuration. Abjuration, okay. Yes, yes, yes. For protection, yes. I'm sorry, you think some sort of reinforcement? Like the... You see... Mm, yes. Mm, the dark blue you one? See... No, 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 I believe he's talking about the... Uh, oh, yes. The, the pink circle with the... Mm little, uh, almost like teeth inside, like uh, nails almost, reinforcing it. Mm, right, right, no, the, uh, unfortunately, uh, it is quite confusing between, uh, it was, uh, it was abjuration and, uh, and, oh, oh, clicking tabs and they're going to one place, um, an invocation. Uh, one is uh, the protection of life, protection of protective spells, and the other one, uh, invocation being um, the creation of, it was, 
creating matter and energy. They are very close to uh, looking the same, but they are not. Um, mm. Abjuration does not have the thingies, the little um, uh, flutes inside. So, if it's the bold so circle. The, the dark blue one. I right. Assume, yes. All right, and then evocation would be this. The pink one. All right. Yes, yes, it was. Uh, then we are left with a circle with a star inside and runes around it. Transmutation must be the multiple sided yes. star. Correct. Yes. Oh, this is wonderful. It's all coming back. And then um, divination. It is creating something instant out of nothing. Um, this will be, uh, the, this should be a square. There was a square. You all said something about yes. a square one. That one would be divination. So now we have an idea of the schools of magic. But uh, what does this have to do with the puzzle if we're not supposed to cast any magic? Mm. I mean, are the schools typically presented in an particular order? Like, do you learn them in a specific order? Well, I like always is... seem to have learned it in alphabetical just for simplicity's sake. Well, okay, so if we're young aspiring mm -hmm. mages, mm -hmm. what info would we know about these schools? Would we know that? Would we at least know the school names? Yes. Perhaps we could we'll put them in... in some sort of order, yes. Well, yes, I mean, if you are a student and uh, knowing then, of course, if uh, how I, um, how I was taught when we were there was through repetition and, and unfortunately is helpful for some and unhelpful for others. But um, uh, unfortunately also the arcane schooling could be a bit uh, odd in the fact of repetition, though orders being, of course, um, through order, through repetition comes order, and in order also comes your learning. So I believe um, learning the order would be the best way for us to uh, potentially, you said something about a key, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that the order? It is abjuration, transmutation, conjuration, divination, enchantment, evocation, evocation illusion, necromancy, void. Necromancy and void. Great, yes, that's it. That's the order. But the order to what? Oh, to, do I to, to, write those symbols yes. down on the... How many tiles are there? Do we just want to write on the any tile? Wait. Well, there's four more of these markings on these tiles. Mm. Mm. And then we have two symbols, two schools that have not been used. I would assume, but I don't know if this is correct, um, that we would need two of each. If we look I at just... the symbol, um, it doesn't really coincide with any particular pattern that I can tell. I just drop to the floor over here and with a chalk, look at the wall and then draw the necromancy thing as best as I can and I stand up. Which one? Which yeah. wall? Uh, okay. Uh, right on that spot? Yes. Drawing necromancy under... Um, yes. put your Put your person where you are drawing. There. there. Right I'm there. drawing okay. necromancy okay. there. Okay, so you are drawing necromancy. Okay, give me one moment while I try to find where these things are. You're drawing it here? Yes. As you draw the necromancy symbol you begin to and you start to then draw with the chalk checking double checking your work with the key these uh two concentric circles with these runes sort of dotting the oh. in, in between them both and then with the two 
uh, intersecting striations of, of rune, you're able to complete the sigil for the necromantic school. As you do, however, you step back and you wait, and sort of proud of your work for a moment, and then you notice the rune itself starts to move and, and sort of to peel itself off of the tile, floats in front of you in this green energy and we will pick up there next week. Oh. There's no way we're going to remember. Mm-hmm. I had to do oh, something. Oh, God. This is no, the kind good. of stupid Are shit sets, that though? my brain does remember. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. They might be in sets of three. Look at where the tiles are. Uh, uh, well, there's there's four of some, three of some, fours. two of some. No, I know, but like... About the- It's like, I gotta pee so bad. Pee so bad. <laughs> and it's like, you're so far uh-huh. away from you're solving so this that we're ending it. We're just gonna we're play you out now. Hours. Well, I mean, I did, I, when we started this at six, I was like, mm-hmm, well, it's gonna be hard. Um, so, and we're in a good spot where you I think. You go back down to investigate, it's just a shelf pocket thing behind the thing, and then you walk back up, do. and here you are. Yeah, okay, here we are. Here we are. Let's, let's start it. Exactly. <laughs> yep. That's <laughs> it. That's, that's, that's what happened. Uh-huh. Welcome to every puzzle ever in D&D. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, They're either way too easy or like way. Am I still muted? I don't know. Am I muted, chat? Um, I played myself out. Um, I was just saying that um, they should be able to hear me now. Um, that I've got so many things playing in the background that I got to go find out where they all are. That was playing. Just keep um, pushing buttons. That always works. That's, that's what I do. And and have you been to one of these games? Uh, so. The, um, I was just saying, like, I feel like I was waiting for a time where we could take a break for a week without, without solving it. And I think we're in a good place where, you think you, you think you've got it? You think over no, this week you're going to solve I, it? I don't have it now. I'll be honest. I don't have okay. it now, but, but you think that's, throughout the I week don't think I like, can stop my brain from, <laughs> from trying to figure it out. Doing it. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Definitely. Here's the way to fix that. Change the scene on roll 20. Then oh, I yeah. Do it. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll physically stop me. And that's oh, so I true. see. You were going to look at the And then don't really? look you at the VOD. It's too at late. He screenshot it. I started yeah, it already. <laughs> I got to finish yeah. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, I get that. And that's sort of another. Well, we can continue. It's just going to be another two, three hours. But it's. Uh, I I think this Challenge is a good. accepted. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. We've all seen <laughs> how um, we all do uh, Brad's puzzles. So I just wanted to. So I'm, I'm taking notes and I'm taking a time on how long it takes us to do the puzzle. Therefore, I can completely deny it when it's over, how long it took us. Like, like Brad does. Um, exactly. So, yep, exactly. I'm but, never doing a puzzle ever again. No! <laughs> that was what happened. So good. At the end of the last puzzle, puzzle that I did on our offline game, I <laughs> promised I would never, ever run a puzzle again. No, it was it awesome. Just, it was awesome. And I'm just the campaign thinking. is now just a meat grinder. Perfect. So I never have to run it again. Perfect. And I hope that that's not true because we I really do like the puzzles. And that's inspired me for this puzzle. So thank you for inspiring me. It may also be a really hard puzzle. Anyway, that was uh, this episode of Spellwind. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, we're going to go around and talk about how we like today's episode. Um, Pendulum's cool. Um, a lot of that stuff I sort of made the husk of Pendulum. And then I was like, we'll see how the party interacts. And then um, a lot of cool 
juicy things were discovered today during that, like the entire boat of skeletons that I didn't even see in the art. So that was cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was awesome. Uh, we're going to go around and talk about how cool we are and where you could find us. We're going to start with Wack today. Hi, everybody. I'm Wack Steven. Played Smith for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. As always, we appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Myth, for being uh, an awesome GM and making Thank all this you. happen. If you want to go help support for this show, you should definitely go check out patreon.com slash spellwind. Uh, and Myth is also doing like an offline thing uh, that's going on as well for uh, for the Patreon there. So you should check that out. Um, we just did episode one this past Monday and it was sick. It's all dragon yeah. Is that being inspired. is that recorded for your Patreon? Um, you? It is not recorded, but we do have a player that is streaming it. So, um, and I do oh, have my. So you can you can go check it out. I do have my. Um, I am running the stream too through VMix, so I'm just posting it on their channel. So if you want to come by and watch it, you totally can. It's Mondays at nine Eastern. So go check that out. Wack. Back to you, Wack. and uh, <laughs> if uh, if you if you like my character here i'm running a show called 100 club on mondays at uh, 5 p.m or 4 p.m eastern um and that has been tremendous amounts of fun and we're having a really good time doing that 